So you wake up, you throw on a shirt, you look at yourself in the mirror, and then you have the legitimate question. Am I wearing an undershirt or am I wearing a t-shirt? One of these is underwear. The other one is perfectly fine for wearing out to casual events. But what's the difference? Guys, that's the subject of today's video. So what exactly is an undershirt? An undershirt is a sweat rag. The job of the undershirt is to protect your more expensive clothing, aka your dress shirts, from your own body, from the sweat, from the oil, from the grime, everything that comes off of your body throughout a day, you don't want this transferring onto your dress shirt. Because when you put on deodorant, if that were to go directly onto your dress shirt over time, certain deodorants can actually damage your dress shirt. So you would rather damage a less expensive undershirt. So what's a t-shirt? A t-shirt is a casual outer garment that evolved from the undershirt. So we go back to the 1920s, 30s, we see US military personnel taking off some of their clothing, working on the deck of ships, sailors to be exact, and they're wearing these undershirts and it started to become a bit more accepted. 1950s, 60s, we saw returning servicemen again wearing these undershirts and it was in the 70s and 80s we saw the t-shirt start to evolve. Since the 1990s, the t-shirt has become a modern classic and I think is a great addition in almost any man's casual wardrobe. Now, you may be wondering, Antonio, where'd you get that great looking t-shirt? My friend Jose Zuniga over at Teaching Men's Fashion sent me this shirt. I have to say, it is amazing. This is part of his new Essentials line and it's launching this Saturday, July 7th, in the description of this video. I'm linking over to the early sign-up. You want to join this because he's going to put out the best deal on Saturday. He will go out of stock and I have to say that Jose, Juan, and his sister Maria, these it's an amazing family and these guys care about quality. Jose, like me, he sees tons of products. If you're not familiar with this channel, he's got a channel very similar to mine. Guys, I'm leading to it down in the description. Go check out what these guys are doing because they're building up this clothing line with good quality products. They're going to cover the base essentials of what you need to look stylish. Case in point, the classic white t-shirt. Guys, this shirt, this shirt right here, it's made from 63% bamboo, which if you're not familiar with bamboo, it's a natural material that is naturally odor resistant and antibacterial. So, what does that mean? It means basically you can wear this all day. You're not going to smell. You're going to look good. And actually, it's got a bit of a stretch to it. I actually love the way that these shirts feel right in and around the arms. I'm not a huge guy, but this shirt looks great on me. I'm actually going to wear it all day. Again, guys, they're launching this Saturday, July 7th with their new essentials line. I'm linking to it down in the description. You want to enter your email, get on their early bird list. That way you're notified. That way you get the best deal because they are going to sell out fast. Key characteristics that separate t-shirts from undershirts. Number one, fabric weight. Five to 14 ounces. Five ounces being very lightweight, kind of in the realm of undershirts, but 14 ounces, very heavyweight. Now, why do you want a heavier weight fabric with a t-shirt? Okay, what it's going to do is it's going to give it a little bit of a better drape. It's going to give an overall look. If you're wearing this as outerwear, you want something that isn't going to show all the textures and lines of your body. So, t-shirts also, the fit of them is going to be a bit looser, but a heavier weight fabric is going to have a very nice drape. It's going to give it its own little bit of structure. Now, key characteristics that we see with undershirts. We're talking about two to six ounces in weight. This shirt right here, very light, very breathable. Now, let's talk about t-shirt colors and patterns. This one right here in black, but you can go with navy, you can go with gray, you can go with white. Me personally, I like darker solid colors. I think they look a little bit dressier and they work great overall when I wear my dark colored jeans, kind of slim up my overall silhouette. But guys, you can go with white. I think it's a classic color. It's going to work great for a lot of you all. I don't wear it too often because, hey, I've got kids and I don't want to stain it up. I think gray is another underutilized color. The great thing about gray, it's a non-color, so it's going to pretty much match anything in your wardrobe. Now, let's talk about graphic tees. Graphic tees have been a fashion trend for over 30 years and I get it. A lot of people want to send a message. They want to wear maybe another company's logo. They want to wear their own company's logo. I think though, they are overplayed. So, maybe take a step back say, hey, could I actually go for something simpler? Something that is just going to make me look great. Undershirt design is going to be very plain. We're talking solid white, variations of gray, maybe a black or a dark blue, which works fine if you're wearing a dark colored dress shirt. Why don't we see patterns? Why don't we see bright colors? Why don't we see logos on undershirts? Because the job of the undershirt is to be under a dress shirt and not draw attention to itself. 
So when's it appropriate to wear a t-shirt? Guys, you need to understand a t-shirt is a casual item. It's never going to be at the same level as a dress shirt. So just make sure that the dress code allows for a t-shirt. So the t-shirt and sports jacket look, I think it can work for certain individuals, especially if you have a lot of confidence, if actually you are in a position of power, if it's your company, if you are showing up to an event that yeah, normally actually everyone else is going to be dressed down, you can dress it up a bit. But again, remember it's a very casual look. So when is it appropriate to wear an undershirt? Any time you want to protect your more expensive clothing by using it as a layering piece. So you can wear it with a sweater, you can wear it with a dress shirt, you can wear it with a polo as long as you know that this is underwear. You don't want it to be visible. Now wait a minute, why would I want to wear an undershirt with a polo or a t-shirt, especially in hot weather? Guys, it all comes back down to protection. So when you put on that deodorant, again, you spent a lot of money maybe on that graphic t-shirt, you spent a lot of money on that polo, or you just don't want sweat stains to come through. Guys, an undershirt could solve your problems. And another added benefit, something that may be embarrassing to some of you guys, is you've got nipples that stand at attention. Okay, so if that's an issue, guys, wear an undershirt and it's going to keep them a bit more muted. So now let's talk about t-shirt style. Let's start with the neck. So when you see crew necks out there, I think that those are perfectly fine for most situations. But if you want to build up the chest a bit, you want to go maybe for a V-neck, do not go for a deep V-neck. That's reserved for undershirts. Now let's talk about sleeve length. So with a t-shirt, oftentimes you're going to see a little bit longer of a sleeve versus undershirts in general are all going to be short. But I think a shorter look on a t-shirt is perfectly fine, especially if it fits well in and around the arm. Now with the length of the t-shirt, I like to go no more than three to four inches past the belt line. I wear my t-shirts untucked and I don't want them to look like a dress. Now let's talk undershirt style. You got a lot of options out there, but let's talk about neck style. So crew neck, and that works fine if you're going to be wearing a necktie, or let's say you've got a lot of hair on the chest and it's coming out. Well, in that case, you want to keep it in check with a crew neck. Now the V-neck, this works great. Again, if you don't have a whole lot of chest hair, or if you're going to be wearing a shirt that you're going to wear buttoned and left open, like I do in a lot of my videos, I choose a V-neck. Now let's talk about sleeve length. In general, undershirt manufacturers are going to cut the sleeves higher. Why? Because they know this is a layering piece. They want it to stay out of the way. So if you have a shirt and you can't tell, is it an undershirt or a t-shirt? We'll look at how long the sleeve goes. If it goes about to your mid bicep, it could be a t-shirt. Now let's talk about undershirt length. Quality undershirts are going to go about four to six inches past your belt line. Why are they going to be so long? Because undershirts are meant to be tucked in and a longer undershirt is going to stay tucked. All right, so at this point, you should now know the difference between a t-shirt and an undershirt. Did I miss anything? Would you have added anything to this video? Do you disagree with anything I said? Guys, let me know down in the comments. I want to hear from you. And if you found this video useful, please share it, pass it around, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. And if you want to grab one of these shirts, guys, go sign up for Essentials Early Bird List. Jose is doing an awesome job. I'm linking to them down in the description. I was very impressed with the product and I just love seeing him, his brother and his sister just create this company and build it from nothing. They're just awesome entrepreneurs, great people and go support them. Just sign up for the email list. Again, you don't want to miss it. It's going live this Saturday. I am linking to it down in the description. When you sign up on their email list, you're going to get the best offer that they're going to make. And again, they're going to sell out very quickly quickly. Just a great shirt and uh, this white one and this gray one sent to me as well. Very good quality. That's it guys. Take care. I will see you in the next video.